Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living Parker and to our Sunday service. Thank you for joining us this morning. We're glad you're here on this beautiful day. And we're glad that this is a way we can all connect. So I'd like to welcome you and let you know that at Center for Spiritual Living Parker, we honor all paths to God. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, you are welcome here. And we're glad that you're joining us today. We understand that there are many ways to experience a relationship with the divine, with the God of your understanding. And so we welcome you and we hope that you will enjoy this service and the message that Spirit has for you through this time. I also would like to remind everyone of our 30-year goal as a spiritual organization. And that goal is to be a global resource to help people discover and live their spiritual truth. So whether we're meeting in person or whether we're meeting here online, we're still following our mission to help people discover and live their spiritual truth. And that's for each and every one of us. So I bless you as you join us for this service today. Also, we've been updated. It appears that the school where we're meeting will be closed through April the 19th. So that means the first three Sundays of April will be meeting here online. So please join us. We're starting a new series in April and it's called Bright Beginnings. So I'll have some interesting things to share with you about Bright Beginnings and this time that we're going through right now. Watch your email for links to both our Sunday service and our Wednesday evening Facebook Live um, connection time. It's 7 p.m. on Wednesday and 10 a.m. on Sundays. So watch for those links and we'll be very pleased if you would join us and share in the community and the connection during those times. If you have prayer request, I invite you to go to our website, www.cslparker.org, and under prayer request or under prayer, you can submit your request. Then our practitioners and I will hold you in prayer. So feel free to do that. You can also call with your prayer request and our church phone, our church office number here is 303-805-9890. And you can leave a message or if I'm available, I'll speak with you then and we can have a time together. Finally, I invite you to donate to our center and our work. Online through our website, there's a donate button. And you can also donate via Zelle. For many of you, you have told me that that's so easy and that you enjoy being able to do that now. So our Zelle account is listed with our phone number that I just gave you. And that phone number is also on our website, the 303-805-9890. We appreciate your donations, that you keep our community continuing in your support. And we want to continue to support you and serve you and your spiritual needs. So thank you for joining us today. Blessings. relaxing spot. Find a place to sit and join me for meditation. Welcome. My name is Katie. Please feel free at this point in time to close your eyes and take a gentle breath. Breathe gently. 
place both palms of your hands on your lap, face down, and breathe gently. Just let your body relax. Now is the time to connect with your source. Breathing in the goodness of source. And breathing out the goodness of source. For as we continue to breathe and relax the mind and relax the body, we connect deeper and deeper to our source. Breathing in the good of spirit. Breathing out the good of spirit, melting in our seats, relaxing the body and the mind. Now breathe in the light and breathe out the light. Breathing in the great I am and breathing out the great I am. And with every breath surrendering to our source, surrendering to the spirit For there is no place that our spirit is not. There is no place that God is not. We breathe in with this realization that God Spirit is all, and that all there is is spirit. God is both the feminine and the masculine, both the cause and the effect. It can only be good. The one source is good is peace. In the harmony. With each breath. We refuse to set our mind on doubt and fear, but instead to the truth of our being. We set our mind on faith, acceptance, and receptivity, setting good into motion. Letting it, letting spirit work for us. So as we breathe in the faith, allowing spirit to guide us, knowing that God is good and ever flowing, the law of good will bring everything desirable to the great experience of life. 
For as we set our energies on our desires, as we set our energies forth, it is as we believe it appears to us as we believe. Again, we breathe in our faith. God is good. And nothing can go forth from us but good. Today I realize God is always present. Good is always present. Relax into the peace. Relax into the harmony that is knowing all is as it should be. Breathing in the light of God and breathing out the light of God. We are all a part of the light. Everything is as it should be. May peace be with you. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Keeping it together? It's a tough time right now. And what we tend to do is get caught up in fear and worry. And that's not the place to be. God's got this. We know that. You wouldn't be listening to me otherwise. I want to encourage you with a song that, as I've been outside lately and spending time outdoors, hopefully you're doing the same thing safely, you know, a good 10 to 20 feet away from each other, but with your family. Spending time outside looking at the squirrels, watching them run, listening to the birds. It's been a good time. It's gotten me outside. But this Bob Marley tune called Three little birds comes to my mind and I actually woke up to it this morning thinking we don't need to worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right it may not look like it right now and for those who've got someone who's ill right now I'm not making light of that for those of you who have know someone or have someone in their family or a close loved one or maybe potentially has um, the diagnosis that we don't want to hear right now God still got this, and you can lean on us. But I want to cheer you up. I want to help you balance a little bit. Enjoy some good times. Sing it with me as you want. Don't worry.
about a thing Because every little thing Gonna be alright Don't worry About a thing Because every little thing Gonna be alright I say every little thing We're continuing our series and finishing it today on the Divine Feminine. And I hope that from these different lessons throughout this month, you have been able to understand that spirit is not just male qualities or female qualities, but it's a mixture of both masculine and feminine, as we humans would describe that. And it's everything in between. So the divine is not a specific gender. And that's our talk title today. Spirit is every gender for its masculine and feminine qualities and everything in between. Ernest Holmes in his seminar lectures said, out of the vast universality, the spirit is individualized as spirit, as soul, and as body in a unique way in each one of us. To me, that means that spirit shows up with different thoughts, different beliefs, and different manifestations in each and every one of us. So we all are expressing the one spirit, but we're expressing it in our own unique ways. And that is beautiful to see the diversity of spirit, but knowing that it's only one presence, one power that's there. We often say, it's all God. It's all good. And my question to you is, do you believe that? Do you believe that it's all God and it's all good? Reverend Alma, my teacher would often say to me in our conversations, Rick, either you believe God is all there is or you don't. Now, when she first started saying that to me, I really didn't understand exactly what that meant. But through the years, it has come to have a very rich and deep meaning for me. For me, I understand that if I believe God is all there is, then for one thing, there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear in life. I can trust spirit because it will always lead me to my highest and best good in all things and at all times. If I don't believe that God is all there is, then I must believe that there is something else, some other power going on in the world. Now, some people would call that evil. Some would call it the devil. Something other than God we're talking about here. Something opposed to God. In religious science, we say and we believe that God is all there is. It's not a duality. There's not God and the devil. There is only God. It's all God, and God is good, so it's all good. Now, I lived for many years with this belief in duality, and it did not serve me well. What it created was a lot of fear in my life. My life was fear-filled when I believed that there was God and something else because I hadn't learned to trust that God would take care of me. I've come to understand that in all things, in all ways, God does take care of me. I can look back through my life now and see how Spirit has led me even when I wasn't willing to be led. I see now God in every individual, God in every animal, every plant, everything formed and unformed. God is in the space between all forms. God is in the space between us, as Alicia sings. And that is a beautiful thing to understand and to know. Jeremy Poor 
wrote an article in search of the divine masculine and feminine. And in this article, he talks about how the divine masculine is the energy of action, courage, power, and the abstract. The divine feminine is the energy of patience, wisdom, flexibility, and nurturing. The combination of these energies allow motion when blended. Isn't that what we're all looking for? Moving forward in life in a positive way, embracing life and embracing living, so when we bring in the masculine and the feminine qualities, that blending of that creates motion in our lives, creates the goodness to move forward. And so it takes all of that, all of the qualities of God, to move us forward in our life. We get to embrace both the masculine and feminine qualities to live fully. So I want to remind you Put back into your mind the thought that you are an expression of God. In your own unique way, you are God in expression. And what can you do to express the qualities of spirit that are living within you, that are your very nature? Some of these qualities of the divine I'll remind you of now, beginning with the quality of oneness. Oneness with all people and all things. When we recognize this, when we live from this truth, and during this time of pandemic, I think it shows up pretty well that we are all one. For the COVID-19 virus is having an effect on each and every person throughout the world. It doesn't matter how rich, how poor, what the color of your skin is, what language you speak. COVID-19 is no respecter of persons, and it's showing us that we are all one. That's Spirit's message to us, and always has been, that we are one with all beings, with all plants, all animals. And in our oneness, we can support one another. Another quality of the divine is love. Unconditional love at all times. God offers that to us. Are we willing to accept that? And as that being our nature, because we are God in expression, can we share that unconditional love with others? It's important, especially now, that we share that unconditional love. Another quality is peace. Peace at all times. When we keep breathing, we can trust spirit. When we center ourselves, we often focus on the breath. Focusing on our breath allows us to center, to go within and feel spirit within us. Can you take time to go within, to know that place that's undisturbed, that is always peaceful, deep within you, no matter what's going on on the outside? You can be at peace within because that is God's nature. That's the quality of God, and God is within you. Another quality here of the divine is creation. God is always creating, and we too, as expressions of God, are creating. So we create with our thoughts and with our words. What are you creating, even in this time? Are you conscious about what you're creating? Are you creating more peace, more love, more oneness? Or are you creating something that is more like fear, lack, limitation? It's our choice, what we're creating in our lives. Another quality of God is freedom. For we were made to be free. And we get to choose what we're going to experience in life. Are we willing to choose freedom and unlimited possibilities from the divine? Or are we so fearful that we're tied to the past and think things always have to be the same? Then we're not living in freedom. I would encourage you to live free, to be creative, to create peace, love, oneness, kindness, and joy. Especially in this time when it's, it's so trying for so many people. We can be a loving presence. 
We can create a vibration of one, oneness, love, peace, and acceptance. We set that as our intention, and then that's how we get to show up each day. Reverend Norm Bouchard shared an experience he had at Costco. He went on senior day. He got there early, and he was the first person in line. He said as he waited for the doors to open, people began to line up behind him. And the more people that got in line, the more the energy was building. He turned to the man behind him and said, Do you feel the energy here? The man said, Oh, yes. And it is an energy of fear. And Norm, as they chatted, then turned to the crowd behind him and he said, Do you all feel the energy here? And the people said, Yes. Yes, we feel it. And the tension was in the air. He said, do you know this song? Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. As he sang, he said, people started joining him in the song. And by the end, they were all, it seemed, singing this song together. When he finished, he turned around and he said the manager had unlocked the doors and opened them, but no one was rushing in. The singing had calmed the people. It had changed the energy of the group. Are you adding to the energy of fear and lack that's prevalent in today's society? Or are you adding to the energy of peace? of love, of kindness and oneness, of generosity. It's your choice how you're going to show up. Do you believe that God is all there is? If so, then you can trust God for what you need, even daily supplies, like hand sanitizer, toilet paper, food. Whatever you need, God can supply. Now, you may need to ask for help. You may need to ask to get some of this. Don't just look for it to be dropped on your doorstep from a helicopter. But Spirit will provide. In ministerial school, when I was going through tough times, I would often remind myself, God hasn't brought me this far to drop me now. And it's important that we remind ourselves of this truth that God is for us, that no matter what is going on in our lives, Spirit is always there to support us and to carry us through. And remember, this too shall pass. Nothing is permanent here except God and its qualities. I'll share a story with you. This is a story about a little girl who was thinking about her sister's birthday that was coming up. She told her mom, I know I'm going to have a knot in the pit of my stomach. She said, watching her get all those presents, the cake, the candles, people taking her pictures, she's smiling. She said, it just makes my stomach hurt. The mother was very comforting. She took out a scrap of paper. She wrote three words on the piece of paper and she handed it to her daughter. She told her to keep this in her pocket or in her hand. She said, this will help remind you what you need to remember for yourself. The little girl looked at the piece of paper. The three words said, I get enough. And she and her mother had a conversation around this. The girl said, I get it. I can remember I get enough cake. I get enough pretty gifts. I get enough people celebrating me too. The little girl said, I'm never losing this piece of paper because I can't forget it or that'll ruin everything. I get enough, mom. I get enough. And that's right for each and every one of us. But we can forget and we do periodically forget that God is our source, and that we have all we need and plenty more. 
And when we forget, doesn't that ruin everything? So remember the spiritual principle of creation here, that what we think about is what we bring about. What we're putting out in life is what's going to be returned to us. That law of circulation, that spiritual principle works all the time for each and every one of us. We need to remember we get enough. And unlimited possibilities are available to us if we are open and allow them to flow into our lives, if we don't try to limit ourselves. In The Science of Mind, on page 50, Ernest Holmes writes, how much of the infinite good is ours? And then he answers his question, all of it. He asks another question, how much of it may we have to use? And his answer, as much of it as we can embody. You see, what we can believe, what we can take in, that's what we're able to produce because that's awakening spirit within us, coming forth from us, our very nature, from that place that is never undisturbed, that is always peaceful deep within. When we focus on our breath and go within and leave the outside chaos, that's where we meet with spirit. And that's the part of us that can always know there is plenty of supply. God is faithful. Good can come from everything, even during a pandemic. We find new ways to connect, new things to do, and new people that we can reach out in different ways. Did you see the story about the grandson who was used to going and visiting with his grandfather every day at the nursing home? The nursing home went on lockdown, and so the boy couldn't come in and see his grandfather. He drove his pickup truck to the nursing home. He parked outside his grandfather's room. He got his lawn chair out and sat in the lawn chair right outside his grandfather's window. He dialed his grandfather on the phone and he would talk to his grandfather on the phone through the window. The grandfather could see him. He could see the grandfather. They weren't touching. They weren't exposing one another to anything yet they were able to connect. He went every day to see his grandfather and to talk with his grandfather. That is love. How many people would do that kind of thing? I saw another story about a lady who would take the therapy dog into the nursing home. In the same scenario, she couldn't take the dog in because they were on lockdown. So she was taking the dog to the window of each one of the rooms and the people would come over and they would see the dog. The lady had made a sign that said, we miss you, we love you. And they would share that with the nursing home residents. Are you doing things to reach out? Last week, I encouraged you to reach out to your neighbors and to your spiritual community. And I know many of you have done that. I've heard from you that you were reaching out to people. I've also heard from some people that said it meant so much to them that they had someone call them. Someone reach out. Be that connection that they were looking for. So I encourage you to continue to do that, to find ways to reach out, to get beyond yourself, and to help others. Many of you have met my friend and prayer partner, Reverend Mary Ellen Cassie. She lives in Canada. Reverend Mary Ellen has several um, risk factors, and so she's self-isolating herself. She said her neighbor called the other day to ask if she needed anything. Reverend Mary Ellen said, if you're going to the store, I would love to have some cherry tomatoes and some broccoli. She put an envelope with some money in it in her mailbox, and a while later, her neighbor called and said, your groceries are on the front porch. She got her cherry tomatoes, broccoli, and a beautiful pot of crocuses. This is spirit in action. And spirit is not a gender. It's the qualities of the divine that I've been talking about here. It's the feminine and the masculine qualities combined, and they move us forward in a positive way that we share a more full life 
with people around us and with ourselves. When we reach out beyond ourselves, then we can show love. We can show peace. We can vibrate a higher energy. And that does make all the difference. We don't want to forget. We get enough. We are enough. And we are God in expression. We can change the energy when it's low to a higher vibration like Reverend Norm did. Think about what you can do this week to help others. And I would encourage you to think about how you can allow others to help you. You see, this giving and receiving is the law of circulation. And in order for a gift to be given, we have to have a receiver. And if you're not willing to receive from others, to allow others to help you, you're blocking the good that they're trying to do in their life. And it takes away their joy. So we want to encourage that full circulation by giving and receiving. Look at how you can give. Is it a phone call? Is it a text message? Is there a card you can send? Can you make a pot of soup and drop it off at somebody's door? What is it that you can do? And then how can you allow others to reach back to you, to serve you as well? Giving and receiving, it's the divine law of creation, and we create our lives with it. Let us pray. We pause and say thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for your faithfulness to us for the way that you have opened us up to your love, to your joy, to the qualities of yourself that are within each and every one of us. Thank you, God, that at the center of us, we can find peace. We can find unconditional love. We can find a joy. Help us to live in those qualities that are you this week. Help us to pull from within ourselves that nature that is your very nature that's exhibited in each of us and help us to share that with the world so that we raise the vibration, so that we create more goodness in the world. So the energy of fear is dissipated and the energy of joy is brought about. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit for this message, for this time to connect, and for each beautiful person and their love for one another and for themselves. Thank you, God, for all you have given us. I speak my word of blessing on each and every one, and I release this word knowing it's accomplished in the mind of the divine. It's all God. It's all good. And we join together in saying, and so it is. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for connecting. And thank you for supporting your spiritual community in the many ways that you do. Blessings to you. Thank you for joining us. And because we're not meeting together physically in person, I invite you to donate online. You can click on the donate button in order to give a gift to support this spiritual center. Or if you'd like to mail in your check, we'll also share with you here the mailing address. And either way, you'll be supporting and being a part of this continued spiritual community. Thank you and bless you. Love is alive in the space between us Feel that love right now God speaks out in the words between us Hear those words right now 
Love 